Hey, Shalom Israel. First off, once again, Lalal. You have a bashim, you have a shy bashim, you have a Double honors to the elders and the apostles of greatness to one. Shalom to the brothers in highways and byways, preaching, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. This is your brother Shapal from the Dream Mr. Maker Camp. You know what I mean? And um, watching this video, I decided to do a lesson on it. Basically, you know, coming from the point of view that these men were, were bringing this, this thing here, you know. There's a reason why the most I call these men the border of wickedness, you know. See? So, we just want to get um, a couple of precepts before jumping into um, this video. You know? Alright, um... So, it's, it, this is a Malachi, Malachi um, 1 verse 1. See, it says, The burden of the word of Malachi, The burden of the word of the Lord, Salakia, To Israel by Malachi, I have loved you, say the Lord, yet ye say, wherein as thou love us, was not Esau Jacob's was not Esau Jacob's brother, say the Lord, yet I love Jacob, and I hate Esau and lay his mountain waste um for the dragons of the wilderness. Now this is a reason why the Lord hate these people, yo. You know what I mean? There's a reason why. Because guess what? These men these men device wicked devices. These men poison your water, these men poison your hair, these men poison your food with GM and all sorts of things, yo. You know what I mean? See? These men are the, um, the, the upper hand law of this society, you know what I mean? The banking elites. They are the type of men who have put certain things in place, you know what I mean? And these men don't consider about your wealth or anything. I mean, so as the video, you can see it 5G, hidden dangers. So we are going at the video, but let's just get two precepts before we jump in at the video. Because I want to show you who is behind this, the type of people, who you think is your friend, or who you think. Because people see the technology and, and being hood and hard by it, and not knowing the dangers behind it. You know? So we are going to bring out the men, we are actually bringing them things first, show you the mindset of these men. You know? So verse 4. So whereas Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will tear down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. The people who are the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. See now the Lord call these people the border of wickedness. You know what I mean? Hey, who knows who knows more about people? Right? Than the Heavenly Father who created people. Right? Now the Lord Himself called His people the border of wickedness. You know what I mean? See? And the people who are against the Lord have an indignation forever. See? Because there is vessel created for righteousness and vessel created for wickedness. You have a sweet in the scripture. Yo. Right? And who is Jacob and Esau? Esau, right, and Jacob was both sons from Isaac, alright, see, now, now Jacob, name was changed to Israel, right, and Israel begot 12 sons, right, which is the 12th patriarch today, right, the 12th tribe of Israel, right, which is you Hispanic, you know, Native Americans, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, you know what I mean, you Mexicans, hey, as you say, you people make up the twelve tribe of Israel. I mean, who is Esau? Esau is the so-called white man. You know what I mean? Edom, Esau, every nation, the eighteen tables of nation, you know, is in the scriptures. And all nations are here today. Since so the most I say hate the so-called white man because he was created for a specific reason. You know what I mean? Let's get to another scripture. This is Habakkuk 2 and verse 5. It's also because he transgressed by wine. And wine in the scripture, I'm referring to philosophy. You know what I mean? Same because who in you know, this world society has spread in vain philosophy. You mean unprofitable philosophy. You know, homosexuality, arm rights, you know what I mean, do as thou will, transgender, you know what I mean? All of them crap, yo, know, which goes against the laws of the Heavenly Father, which transgress the laws of the Heavenly Father. I mean, say, uh, scripture say, yeah, also because he transgressed it by wine, right? By vain philosophy, he's a proud man, neither keep it at home, 
who enlarge it is Isaiah as hell and is as dead. Right, so these men are as hell and, and is as dead, yo. The inventions, the things where these men desire, yo, is as hell and dead. And cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap unto him all people. You know what I mean? And in America, you can find all type of people, yo. See? So let's get into this video real quick. It's called 5G. Have you heard of it? Everybody's talking about it. Uh, frankly, I'm not a, the techiest guy in the world, so I actually had to Google it this afternoon to find out more about what 5G, what, what is 5G? So uh, I, I, I looked at Wikipedia, and here's what I found out that Wikipedia says. 5G, according to Wikipedia, is the latest generation of cellular communications targeting high data rates, reduced latency, energy savings, cost reductions, higher system capacity, and massive connectivity. There you go. A bunch of big words that may mean something to you, maybe not. But uh, it does sound impressive, right? Who wouldn't want all of that? Well, some might ask, there's got to be a catch. So joining us now is our correspondent, Michelle Greenstein, with uh, the latest on uh, 5G. And I guess the question would be that. Here's the setup. Ba -dum -bum. Is there a catch? There is. Just a small one. It might kill you. <laughs> Good to know. So you'll find. How so? Well, a few days ago, actually, a group of scientists, doctors, environmental organizers, and concerned citizens got together and they called for the urgent stop to the deployment of 5G. They mm. said that it's been proven harmful to human bodies, that this is an experiment on humanity, mm. and that this should be called a crime under international law. Let's talk about today's technology, what we have going on today. Your phone is constantly sending electromagnetic magnetic fields in and out of each other, whether or not you're receiving a notification right now. All of our digital tech sends this data back and forth, right, using these invisible microwave radiation signal, signals, aka radio frequency radiation. Right. Uh -huh. That's today's tech. We have every cell tower, every router constantly pulsing with radiation, whether or not you're using it. Science shows that this causes DNA damage, cancer, among other things. But don't take my word that, for it. That, and that's just with 4G. That's just with today's technology. Before Correct. we get to 5G right now, you've got some of it, but exactly. not that much. Let's listen to what Dr. Sharon Goldberg has to say. She's a clinical researcher. Hey, as I said, as I say, oh, that's just 4G. You know, this 5G is gonna be something total different, oh. See, which cause radiation on a more mass scale than 4G. And you hear the, the the effect of 4G have on us as human beings. Yeah, you know, I mean, the radiation and all sort of thing, yo. Yeah. You know, but these men don't have your, your uh, these men don't have people in just heart, man. And uh, uh, the scripture tells us that these men are not like other men. You know what I mean? These men live lavished. These men don't care about people, yo. Let's just continue. Internal medicine physician. This is what she has to say about what we're using today. Wireless radiation has biological effects, period. This is no longer a subject for debate when you look at PubMed and the peer-reviewed literature. These effects are seen in all life forms, plants, animals, insects, microbes. In humans, we have clear evidence of cancer now. There is no question. Um, we have evidence of DNA damage, cardiomyopathy, which is the precursor of congestive heart failure, neuropsychiatric effects. So if 4G is already doing some of this, and I imagine if somebody walks around all day with their phone next to their head for hours upon end, they might be able to, they might be doing some damage to themselves. But let's get beyond 4G. Right. How much more potentially dangerous will 5G be and why? Well, here's what's really dangerous about 5G. I mean, it's being sold to us as super awesome. You know, your toaster can talk to your door lock. It can talk to your self-driving car. Like, you have a thermostat in your home that knows when you're home. You have these smart homes. Like, it just really sold to us as being awesome. But the downside is that with this rollout, it will be impossible to exist in a city or to walk outside without being exposed. There's going to be a cell tower in front of every few houses. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, just to interject, yo, out here in Jamaica, you have a thing such as smart cities, you know what I mean, which is not the idea of Jamaica because in every country you now, as you can see, you know, as um, these people rolling out them 5G because that's the system what they're going to use, right, for basically power the, the, the um, blockchain, you know what I mean, you know, so that's the technology behind the blockchain, all right, and um, yeah, out here in Jamaica, you have um, a lot of cell tower putting up. I mean, um, they, they made um, New Kingston um, a smart city, 
you know so w whenever you you um go to new kingston you know you have you have um data being registered you know so you know all of these these cell towers that i'm putting up here you know, it's it's and it's in close proximity to each other so you know the amount of radiation that is going to come off of these these towers you know so um hey you know it's just one of them things where you can't see the future heading you know so just get And this means that your personal choices, whether or not you personally use a cell phone or hold it 10 inches away from your head, that cannot escape you from your radiation exposure. So let's listen to what Dr. David Carpenter, another public health physician and actually a signatory to this international appeal, had to say. I asked him about the safety testing that's been done with this 5G rollout. Okay. There's been no safety testing of 5G. Uh, the reason I think that... Hey, so there's no safety testing, you know. So these men don't test these things. These men willingly know the radiation. But guess what? The agenda is to kill off a majority of you people. Right? It's on the Georgia Guidestone. You know? If you reduce the population, what? 500 million, I believe. You mean? So they have, you just imagine from, from, from then until now, just imagine the amount of people that's been now on the earth and the amount of people they have to get rid of. Huh? See? So basically how oh, these men these men are planning to call population. These men don't care about your people. Man. Right? That's the so called white man for you. Alright? So I'm bringing out a precept. It's um Um it says Proverbs twelve, alright? Verse two. Say a good man obtain favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will be condemned. So like a man of wicked devices will he condemn. I mean and these men are condemned to hell man. You see? The scripture say how oh, the heaven father um declared the beginning. Right? The end from the beginning. I mean and these men were set up to fall yeah. See? It's a scantina. It's dangerous is that there isn't any specific information to 5G, but we know that radio frequency radiation of 3G and 4G are associated with a whole variety of different human health effects. Everyone is going to be exposed to radio frequency radiation more continuously and at higher intensities, and that's going to cause more human disease. So if I was your big brother, or your dad, and you're being a little younger than me and probably have a little more awareness of this stuff, and I asked you, sure. so when you describe 5G, for those in the audience that maybe don't understand it, it's it's like this Alexa thing that's being sold to us. It's this thing in our homes where, as On you said, our toaster's talking to our phone, and our phone is talking to... The Internet of Things, right? So I mean, if you go online and Google Internet of Things, it's just like utopian Everything vision. is connected, right? Everything, yeah, it sounds super amazing. That's what 5G will eventually want, hope to become. Exactly. And you're saying it's too much. It's too omnipresent. Well, I'm, think, I'm saying that there should at least be a public debate about the health effects. And the fact is the government is completely not jumping on the ball. I mean, because of the Telecommunications Act of 1996, which says that no state or local government can regulate the placement of any cell towers, regardless of environmental effects. Right. That has really laid, there it is right there, that has really laid the groundwork for this toxic infrastructure. What is all right, so let's let's just let's just read this, and then we get a scripture. Right, as you can see on the screen, no state, no local government or instrumentality, therefore, um, thereof, right, may regulate the placement, construction, and modification of personal wireless service facilities on the basis of environmental effects. Right, so no matter what effect it have. And the environment, no matter how the people them are get sick, yo, then you can't remove or you can't put out any lawsuit against them or whatever. You know? Alright, so, um effect of radio frequency emission to the extent that such facilities comply with the com commissions regulated concerning um such emissions. See and these are some of them policies that they put in place. You know what I mean? For 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 justify 
or for, for you know through them court system you know what i mean where them can can chop your you your people you know what i mean you just get a precept i right, say so this is daniel 8 verse 25 daniel 8 verse 25 and through his policy also he caused it craft to prosper in his hand right and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many he shall also stand up against the prince of peace and shall be broken without hand the scripture say oh uh, through his policy he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and this is one of the policies with them have out there this is just one you know what i mean see which him, him, uh, hey, which all of these things yo you know it, it's just it's just if you oppress people more and more you know what i mean all right so all of these these laws and them things that them pass in all in all them in all them um them court system yo see it is is it brings debt yeah you can't see the mindset of these men all right let's continue the video that we're and looking at, I mean, I this is the Telecommunications that, Act of 1996. It's long. What, why am I reading it? This basically says that regardless of health effects, you cannot stop the deployment of 5G infrastructure. Uh. And the FCC, you know, which has no health expertise itself, is completely captured by the wireless industry. It's the same playbook that big oil used with climate change or big tobacco with cigarettes. You know, they're really deceiving the public and selling this to us as something that doesn't have a lot of risks. But you know who hasn't been fooled? The insurance companies, they are not selling any product liability policies that cover cell phone radiation because they aren't fooled by these studies. And look, when people like That's find reports, yeah. it is. When, yeah. when usually like when you or I go online and find reports about wireless tech to find that it's harmless or that there's no evidence of harm, we're usually looking at industry sponsored studies. Yeah. And it's not a question about whether we don't want to move toward new technology. We just want to make sure that that new technology is tested before we put the it out there. Know. So good Correct. stuff. Hey. Gone. So um, we had a precept in Isaiah. Isaiah, Isaiah 32 verse 7. So the instrument also of the troll are evil. You know what I mean? Because these men are, are, you know, these men are just evil people, you know? So he devised wicked devices to destroy the poor, right? With lying words, even when the needy speak it upright. You know what I mean? Hey, and this, this I got definitely, um, this is got definitely have, have more effect on the poor, yo. You know what I'm saying? See, the poor we can't afford. For go, for go, for go do these doctors and, and the poor we can't afford to move out of these, these um, places where we have um, certain radiation. You know what I mean? See? So these men are really geared towards messing up your people. And who are, who are most of the poorest people in, in a society? You know? You know, it's our people, you know? Israelites. You know? See? So it's about the liberal device, the liberal things. Right, and by liberal things shall he stand. Okay, let's get a final precept. Alright, so this is Psalms, Psalms um, 9, a verse, we um, start at verse 15. So the Eden, right, are sunk down in the pit that they made. Alright, and guess what? A lot of you Edens, because guess what? Who is the Edens? If you're not of Israel, then you're an Eden. That's a simple thing. Yeah, that's making it simple. If you're not of Israel, you're an Eden. But hey, guess what? The, the Hopa society don't even care. You know? It's all about making money. It's all about wickedness and evil yo, for these men. See? Let's read that again. It said, The evil are sunk down into the pit that they made, and the net which they have, which they hid. Right? Is their own foot taken? Um, you can know the wicked, yo, of the devices, alright, that, that, that he made, yo. Right? So much you can know the most side by the judgment which him carry out. You know what I mean? See? So, so basically, these men, these men don't have nothing good for, for, for society or, or our people. Alright? See, so the wicked, 
is near is near in the works of his own hands all right so basically the works of him own and not going to be him down fall you know what i mean as the most i set him up for a fall see the scripture in a, um your scripture says Micah 2 and 10 it says rise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted right it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction you know what i mean this place is polluted yo. you know as you said before the radiation all of these things yo seeing is created for death all right you can't live we don't want to see another um year or so in this society you understand seeing this is not this is not a place where, where, where mankind should, should desire to dwell. You, you're being hard by these, these technology. That's, you, you don't really care the, the, the effect or the radiation um, of on our people. You know what I mean? See? Um, another precept from um, Hebrews, Hebrews uh, 15. All right. No, it's like Hebrews 13, verse, verse 14. Say, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Alright? Say, hey, we have no continuing city here. Amen? So, and we seek one to come, because the Most High promised us one. We can continue in righteousness. You know what I mean? Because this is not righteousness. You know? This is living in our cesspool. You know what I mean? So, by him, therefore, let us offer sacrifice of praise. To Yahweh Bashim Yahushai continually, continually, that is, the fruit of our lips giving thanks unto his name. So, Kalalal Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, through the power and spirit of the Most High, you know what I mean? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we look forward to a new society yo, in which we can't, we can't be, be, be sick, you know what I mean? We can't, we can't, we can't. We can function in, in, in this society where, 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 where you have this radiation, where you have certain, and, and the radiation brings a lot of sickness. You know what I mean? But guess what? That's the curses we fall upon our people. See, so the scripture says, Oh, here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Two Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and his promise, yo, which we hold fast to. You know what I mean? Because this place is really, really polluted. See, so with that we want to call the lal, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Raka, Kodash, the blindness to the elders and apostles of Great Men's Stone, Shalom to the brothers in the highways and byways, preaching and teaching his word in sincerity and in truth, Shalom.